Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you. Interesting kind of choppy fading swing ideas here. Let's talk about some ideas here about how we might hit some better shots. Let's get stuck in. All right, guys, swing here definitely looking like a fade is if not the desired shot the shot on the menu here um, if we look at where he's aiming in relationship to the mat he definitely looks aimed up to the left now something a good point for lots of people and i do this a lot with lessons at the minute hitting a fade wins people us opens hitting a fade wins two senior majors the last two senior majors montgomery and Keimer. hitting a fade is not a problem hitting a controlled slice is not a problem it's making sure it's a repeatable shot every time so let's work a few ways here. So we see a backswing which goes one direction, a downswing which looks like it comes slightly what people call over the top and a swing into the left. He's aiming to the left, it looks like, to compensate for that. Now, what are you aiming to the left with? So if I aim my face at the target and then point my feet to the left and do that action, and that ball starts at target with fade, that isn't gonna work. So for me to hit a successful fade, I'm gonna aim my face left, close to that target, pointing left aim my feet left of that face and then I'm going to swing on the line of my feet but the face is going to be open to the line of my feet because I'm swinging left of my face line so the face is slightly open to the target and I'm going to move the ball quite consistently back to target lots of people aim their feet left but forget they've got to turn the face left as well basically if you want the ball fading onto target let's say the ball moves 10 yards in the air you need the ball starting x degrees left of target it can't be starting along the target line and ball is going to start pretty much where the face points at impact 80 ish percent so let's just say 100 percent for this argument the ball starts where the face points no point charge pointing the face at the target let's pretend you don't want to fade um, what you can do is you can make a square a setup i would try and aim a bit straighter even slightly to the right so aiming because you want the ball if you can hit the other shape to start down the right point your face slightly down the right it's going to make you panic all this because you lose the ball out that way already people find it's hard you can get to the top of your back swing and i want you to feel like the club comes down your back and then as it gets near the ball i want you to try and rotate the handle to so spin the club this way out to the ball so what you can do is aim the face to the right point your feet to the right top of your back swing drop the club down your back and then down and you get near the ball feel like you're going to hit it high left so feel like you're going to spin the handle and hit it high left do that for a lot with people they start drawing shots where they've never hit it instantly the trouble is is they struggle then sometimes not always but for lots of people they struggle to maintain it so i think right we've gotten to draw it pretty easily they don't look like they could manage that on a golf course. So why don't I get them to successfully start their ball left and just play with that fade? So it's always a case with a golfer, which obviously we can't do because we haven't got the one-to-one -one interaction with this guy, which is why I'm giving you kind of two options. Getting his aim sorted out to allow for his curvature. Maybe trying to get him to deliver the face even a bit more left. So the ball definitely starts left and then cuts back to its target. Or actually rewriting everything and trying to get him to hit a different shape, which is the bigger thoughts of trying to drop the club down your back and spin it out towards the ball, even spin it out so it points high left. Those thoughts are often harder to manage. The people who do succeed with those thoughts like transform their game. But like I say, you don't you leave them and you think, I'm not sure he's gonna be able to do that on the course. Like he hits two good ones, but four shockers, where before he hit kind of one shocker and three okay ones. Well, I'm very much happier with one shocker and three okay ones, personally. Um, so it's about managing that fault. So have a think, post comments down below. I'd love to hear if you are the person in the swing, let me know which one you try and which one you have luck with or not. I'd be interested to hear. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.